It's called being hung over, buddy. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Straight up, if your house outfits do not resemble this, then we probably, you and I, shouldn't be friends. So if, I just can't, you need to be on this level to rock in a house with me, okay? That's what I'm saying. So if you don't have house outfits like this, rethink your life. Thank you. Okay, well you did it to yourself. Mm, nobody else. Mm, force you to do the dumb shit you do out on YouTube. Mm, we gon' make it rain in this bitch. Make it rain in this bitch. Making it rain in mail packets. Making it rain all these packets in this bitch. You must set the trap. This is the trap. This is the thumbnail trap, guys. This is how you trap the people because we've been all preconditioned by these fast food places to appreciate the bright red and yellow colors. Oh, let's add one of these in there too. Let's add one of these or 10 of these in there too. The Fresh Maker. Even further in the thumbnail trap today because it's a hangover day and we are going to cure ourselves with the hair of the dog. Cure ourselves with the hair of the dog. All right, now that we've got that all settled and tucked away about house outfits and songs about the internet and this food and marketing strategies, this, that, and the other, let's address the elephant in the room. And I don't mean my body. Uh, I do mean the fact that it's it's a hangover, it's a hangover day, you know what I mean? And uh, at a certain age, uh, you'll find that the only way to defeat said hangover is with VVVVV unhealthy, processed, greasy, delicious food such as McDonald's. And also, you must have a hair of the dog A. And by that, I mean one or two little drinky poos of whatever intoxicated your system last night in order to curb the impending anxiety doom that you may feel and just to get you back to a little level because sometimes you wake up in a hangover day and you feel like all day you're on the spectrum and then you have a drink and you kind of feel like okay i'm myself again so that's what we're doing here today now this meal required me to order a beverage. This is a full sugar uh, root beer, but we're not going to worry about that because we're flying in all the way from Russia, Russia Ruski, Moscow. Uh, maybe, probably not Moscow. Your boy took a uh, majority of a bottle to a face last night, and this happens in adult lives, so it's fine. And you can judge me if you please. We'll get into that topic momentarily, but got a little bit left. I will say though, just so, you, just so you know, my sister used some of this for some baking experiment. So I didn't drink all of it. But, uh, you know, just to make myself feel a little normal, here we go. I can already hear the people in the comments saying, you sir have a problem. <laughs> Not the case. Also, don't care. Iced tea, terrible choice to mix with, but it's just what I have. It's just what I have. That's my De Niro. Anyways, cheers to you, cheers to me, cheers to getting through a hangover day, and this is really going to help right here. Okay. So what do we got? Two double cheeseburgers. Yes, I sprang for the extra slice of cheese. Double cheeseburgers, not McDoubles. Mac sauce. Ketchup, mayo, poutine. Canadian treat. Had to do it to him. The Big Mac, of course. And uh, what we need to do first is disrespect the poutine. In my mind, respect it. Because we love 
a good ketchup and poutine around these parts. While I'm doing this, let me ask you guys, because I showed you my house outfit, my tucked lumberjack socks, very wool, uh, flats, flip-flops, sandals, slides, whatever you want to call them. What's your house outfit? Usually I don't actually wear sweatpants. I actually have um, like gym shorts that I call life shorts and I might sell them in the future. Uh, the tagline is life's short, wear life shorts. Cause when you come home and you're all, you know, sandpaper butt and like you're just, your inner thighs have been rubbing all day because you do, you know, walking stuff. Cause life requires walking. And you know, we're not all pretty thigh gap Instagram hoes in this piece. Uh, so sometimes your inner thighs are chafed to say the least. And uh, you know, you just want to de-pant. You want to de-robe for the day. You want to free air everything and uh, just have a good life. So for me, it's usually shorts. Mac sauce, I feel like this is gonna taste like, a, like an In-N-Out vibe if you will maybe we'll give it a little fork fork you buddy if you're not close on that really really good but yes i'd be intrigued i usually kick off the socks too i can't stand a hot foot i do not like a hot foot in the house it's not for me so i'm usually sockless pantless with shorts tee or a hoodie okay let's get into this California classic maybe like a uh, like an in and out but not I know I'm sorry I did a whole lot of talking I'm chatty I'm Kathy I'm here today To be that. Mm -mm -mm. So good. A fresh double cheeseburger. is high priority. Especially in the hangover zone. I'd like to know from you, down in the below, what's your go-to hangover meal? For me, it's always I feel like McDonald's is like the savior of my life. It's pretty much my go-to. Definitely cheeseburgers, keeping it simple. Um, of course, also we have to respect and give a shout out to, firstly, this insane poutine, but also uh, anything pizza when I'm hungover, Pizza Hut. Usually Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is pretty much the, the gold standard. Carbs and cheese, greasy carbs. Seems to be the ticket. This poutine. Also, the ticket. That I can say for certain. All right, let's get into this Mac attack real quick. 
looking VV perfect. Ask for extra lettuce, of course. And just to be a, you know, a hangover savage, we might as well take it to this level. Like we've already come this far, you know what I mean? We're drinking in a video, we're eating trash. Let's go hard the paint. <laughs> Perfect Mac. That Mac is executing on all levels. Pickle sauce, everything's perfect. Mm -mm. Anyways, that brings me to a point. Um, in the intro of this video, you heard that little song I was spitting about. <laughs> Nobody forces you to do, to do this dumb shit that you do on YouTube. And I just, oh my God, wow. I've just seen creators like, get hurt like actually get hurt and care about the opinions of others and people in their comments to try to like clap back and stuff and my entire like advice to a person like that is like literally you just need to not give a shit about any what anybody thinks of you <laughs> Like, stop feeding it. It's hilarious. My other answer is, if you can't handle the criticism, step off YouTube. Get off YouTube. It's not for you. I just find it very hilarious when people think, I'm going to put myself out into the public eye to basically be judged. And they think they're not going to get judged in fucked up ways. Of course you are. It's human nature. People will judge you. <laughs> but it's whatever. And you can't come back and get mad and try to fight people about their opinion of you. When you're the one signing up for the bullshit. Like, you have a choice to just... No longer sign up by not showing up. Once you put something out into public, everybody's entitled to their opinion. And that's fine. What you need to do, and this goes to anybody who's worried about starting a channel, maybe, maybe you're scared of things like that, maybe that's what's holding you back. I'm here to tell you this. If you're in my audience, I'm here to tell you this. As long as you know how you're moving behind closed doors, like, like, I'll get judged on this video. People will be like, will demonize the fact that I had a drink. People will demonize the food, the type of food that it is. People will demonize the fact that, they'll be like, well, you drank a lot last night out of that bottle. People really love to get to harp on alcohol and stuff and cigarettes and whatever. It's like, bitch, are you, unless you're 12, like every adult in, in the world pretty much knows or has partaken in uh, some drinks, cigarette, whatever. You know, you have your days, you have your de-stressors, you have your party times. 
but like the narrative is like somebody somebody creates a narrative in their head about your life based on a few little facts that they see it's like here's the thing off camera you know how you're conducting yourself and if it's like strategic and actually like you 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 know you have your best interest at heart you're not being an idiot and you're doing your program properly no opinion of you should matter because you have you know you have yourself covered You know, for me, it's like when I see anything in my life getting off the rails, I reel it in. Like, it's easy to reel in. Like, there's nothing, you just have to operate properly. So, I guess back to the point of like, if you're worried about starting a channel or whatever, and you're worried about the opinions of others, firstly, literally nobody's opinion matters. <laughs> like, literally, not, not even your parents. You know what I mean? You get to a certain point in your life where your life is your life to choose what you do with. You are the governing power of your vessel, of your body. And if there's something that you want to do that's going to make you happy that isn't really harming anybody, <laughs> do it. As soon as you care about somebody else's opinion, especially a random human off the internet, who you don't even know, you don't respect them, you have no ties to them, and they're going to dictate... what you do so insanity just do your thing pay no mind and also when it comes to like somebody close to you like a parent in that I'll tell you this right now You need to have an idea. You need to find who you are. You need to have an idea of who you are, yourself. You need to tap into that and ride with that and own yourself because so many people let other people what they want for their lives guide them based out of a fear-based decision. Never live in a fear-based state of decision-making for your, for your life. You can't. And the other thing, too, is a lot of times people that are really close to you, like a family member, I'm fortunate, I hate to say it, if you're not, but those close people to you, who are your blood that you feel obligated to can be toxic as fuck. Can try to sabotage and kill everything that you want it to be for yourself. And it is 100% okay to cut that shit off. Not all blood family is going to be beneficial and have your best interest in mind. My body is my body. Your body is your body. You do with it as you see fit and see and, ple and, and what you please. I will do with mine the same. And if I run into any repercussions from what it is that I chose to do, I made those choices and it's on me. You know what I mean? 
So that goes for anybody who has smart ass shit in the comments. Just your body, your life's your life. You make your choices. You live with the consequences, as do I, as is everybody else. So, you know, don't let exterior people dictate what it is that you feel is true to you and what you want to do for yourself. That makes you stoked. Okay. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, I'm going to go die and lay in my bed. Uh, have a, yep, eat good, live well, stay true.